vlogs. We almost just died. It's a really great way to open a vlog right now. I was gonna start it off by saying, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We're going to Spirit Halloween. It's Halloween vibes in August. But as we were driving on the way, we literally just avoided an accident because some idiot decided to go crazy on the highway and like zoomed past hundreds of cars but they were going so fast that like it's the speed where your car would literally get impounded for going that fast it's and it's not just impounded your license gets taken away from you i don't think you're ever able to get a license ever again yeah he almost clipped our car he was so close that our car alarm we have sensors around the car if anything gets close it beeps and so, oh, there's a police officer right there. I wonder if someone called the police on them. So. There's two. Oh my gosh, I really hope. That's gotta be it. Anyways, we are lucky enough to have dash cams. We have um, one here and one at the back, right? Yeah, but there's four cameras total in two devices. Yeah. So there's a camera pointing at me, a camera pointing out front, and then there's one out back, and then one that points inside in the back. So. I mean, it serves as a method to keep an eye on what's going on in the back of the car if I need to. I have a little screen here that lets me see if, you know, say yes. we had the dogs in the back, if they started wriggling around or doing anything, I can make sure that they're okay. They're not like caught in a seat belt or anything. Yeah. Especially useful if you had kids and you just wanted to make sure that your kid is, you know, just behaving themselves or are safe. But we have these cameras mainly because on this highway in particular, this has happened multiple times, and should anything happen, we hope nothing does, we have video recording to show who's in fault. Yes. As I was telling Jess, like, these cameras could completely do us over if I was doing something bad while driving. However, it protects us in the case if I was just driving normally and someone else decided to careen into us. Yeah. So that's why we have it. It's safety yeah. for us, but also it holds us accountable too for exactly. our Exactly. So we were able to get the footage of this happening. So we'll show you right now. I think we have to bleep it because I think the first reaction from you was swearing. That's usually the case for almost <laughs> yeah. anything I do. Believe it or not, I hold myself back quite a fair bit when I'm talking on camera because it's the polite thing to do. But as soon as the camera goes off, I swear like a sailor. Probably heard me swear on the podcast at this point, but yeah, it's uh, it's what I do. Anyway, here's the footage. you can see he was an absolute idiot and I really hope he didn't cause an accident and I really hope those police those two police cars are after him right now we might actually be able to see because we're currently heading to Spirit Halloween so we have a bit more highway left so I'm really hoping fingers crossed we pass and he's like pulled over getting arrested you can't be driving like that on a public highway if you want to drive like an idiot there's race tracks for that yeah. where it's private and the only one in danger is yourself. Yeah. But on a public highway, you have to be responsible because like us, we're just trying to get from point A to point B as safely as we can. Everyone else here on the highway, 99.9% .9 of the people are just trying to get to where they need to go, maybe see loved ones, finish off their work day, whatever. We all have places we wanna be. It doesn't matter if it takes a little longer if you just go the speed limit. Yeah, Come exactly. On. Like even in Ontario, we live in a crazy land where everyone goes over the speed limit. They're there for a reason. It's to get everybody home safely. I don't like driving. <laughs> I know. Anyway, on a more positive note, let's go to Spirit Halloween. It's evil. Is it even? It's evil. So oh. even. I'm gonna go inside. Do you wanna know your future? Am I gonna get shocked if I touch it? <laughs> I dare you to step on it. I mean, it's a little tall to step on, Jess. Scarecrows always scare me. Because you're a crow? No pun intended. <laughs> An 
ominous symbol. Go for it. I don't think there's anything that's good about this. They're all bad? <gasps> you don't get to live, you almost did. <laughs> Does that mean you die? <laughs> oh no. Hey, you over there. Yeah, you. I'm giving out your candy. I thought this would be a great way to make some friends. So come a little closer. What do you say? <laughs> There's no candy to take, Jess. <laughs> I'm not falling for this again, Jess. <laughs> that is so cool. He's the ticket taker. <laughs> I actually did not expect that. <laughs> Come on in. Ooh, look at us. Just a cute little bear. Look at that. He's just on a ball. It's so cute. This is when he suddenly jolts. We'll soon find out when you're asleep tonight. And my favorite girl of them all. I love her. Alrighty, so we left with stuff, okay? Obviously, we bought some stuff. We paid for it. We did pay, no, we just left with stuff. We <laughs> made it sound like we did something bad. We snuck out with stuff. And it's all Beetlejuice themed because I love Beetlejuice. Okay, we have the new movie coming the out. First year They've had Beetlejuice stuff. They've had Beetlejuice stuff, or at least as prominently as we Yeah, have I'm thrilled. So we got some light up stuff, okay? This first one is my favorite. It is the Beetlejuice sign. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? I am so excited. This is awesome. And for anyone who's coming to our Halloween meet and greet, this stuff will be there, trust me. Then we have Beetlejuice's gravestone. Here lies Beetlejuice. This is so cool. Anything that lights up, I'm all for. And then this is just like for, I don't know, a table or a shelf or whatever. But it looks like the Polaroid of the, the no feet that Lydia has. Well, I'm seeing I the spot that. that it's probably gonna be sitting in the background. Oh, can you see there is a cubby that is empty? Do you wanna go put it there? What can I say, I have an interior designer. It was meant to be. And then Ty spotted this cutest little ghost mug and I know. Because all I do is complain about the sheer amount of mugs we have. And, and then, then you I get I more. encourage you to get you more exactly. mugs. Exactly, this is adorable. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed our cute little spirit Halloween vlog with almost dying at the beginning. But well, okay. we almost got spirited. We almost did Too get spirited. Soon. Too soon. Too soon. Hey, I was there too. No, no. All right, guys, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and we'll see you in our next vlog. Bye!